Hello, friends of Oroville. In the autumn of 1988, there was a need felt for better communication and the transfer of information among Orovillians. A number of formats emerged at this time. Oroville Newsreel was one of them. On a weekly basis, Jan and myself collected information about what was happening and projects that were developing within our community. This was done in two languages, French and English. What you're about to view are excerpts of newsreels from October 88 up to and including April 1989. We have edited out all the news items that are totally out of date. What we tried to capture are day-to-day -day life in Oroville, its problems, and the cultural events. It's been a great opportunity for us to laugh at ourselves. Now we are three. We write all our own stories, we do our own camera work, and we do our own editing. It has been a, a learning process, for prior to this, none of us had video experience. We would like to thank Alan and Patricia for their continuous assistance but without them, it would have been totally impossible. Thank you. This here is the Matramundia tree nursery. We have planted and germinated thousands upon thousands of seeds, and now we have saplings. As you can see by the blank spaces, we are already given a tremendous amount away, but yet we have hundreds left. They're good ornamental and timber trees, and we like all Oroveans to come and select a few trees and plant them and possibly replace a work tree. Thank you. Hello, New York. Yes, please, double our order. Quickly as possible. Yes, air freight, definitely. Hello, Hong Kong. No, can't do it. Reevaluation of the dollar prohibits. Hello, Oroville, and welcome to Oroville's Industrial Zone. According to the galaxy, the Industrial Zone is made up of 94 hectares of land. It takes up 18% of the city, and already we have three units who have made pucker buildings and are operating within the Industrial Zone. And this week, Ms. Jan and I are going to show you these three units. Hello, Miss Jan. Yes? Take it away. Okay, I love you. Philora and Santoshan now occupy this imposing building. They started 10 years ago sharing one tailor operating out of a temporary keat structure. Today, the two units have 20 employees with a combined production of 30,000 garments a year. Valerie runs Santoshan. Aurel runs Philor. Philor himself, Aurel's son, has recently joined the business. What made you choose the industrial zone of Oroville to build your new home at? Um, after a lot of looking around, it just seemed the best place to come. And Philor, what made you decide to get into the business? Well, it happened quite suddenly. It was uh, I was studying um, uh, correspondence with France, and then I went to Lycée a week. But since a long time, I just I wanted to work and see how it is, how it is to be in a unit and be part of it. So after a week of school, I decided to be here. And it happened. So. Well, let me tell you, you have a very beautiful home, and I wish you all the best, and make you make beautiful garments for the whole world in the name of Oroville. <laughs> this is Oro Biogas. Here we are in Biogas plant. This here is a water tank that they're making out of ferro cement. A lot of wire mesh, and then through a 
special process, they put the cement on the outside, and then it's put outside in the curing tanks. This here is a biogas methane digester. They do the same process here. You can tell by the shape it's a little different. But they have a heavy wire mesh with the cement on the outside out to the curing tanks. I wonder if you could tell us exactly uh, or about how many methane plants do you make a month? Three biogas plants per month. And exactly, or a general idea, how many uh, water tanks do you make a month? About uh, 10 water tanks per month. Uh -huh. And you're just about to do the Saraswati Puja, huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Good. Voici au remodel atelier. 40 tailleurs et une douzaine de femmes sont employées à des tâches diverses. Peinture sur soie, finition sur des machines ultra modernes et broderie. Au total, 60 personnes, dont 5 Oroviliens. Oromodel Atelier a produit cette année plus de 75 000 vêtements et a décuplé son chiffre d'affaires en 5 ans. Mais l'entreprise a tellement grandi que l'espace s'avère être rapidement insuffisant. Et en 1987, André et Préma se lancent dans la construction d'un nouveau bâtiment. Euh, ce qui m'intéresse euh, dans cette opération, c'est euh, d'assumer à la fois l'architecture, euh, d'être promoteur et d'être constructeur. En effet, euh, j'ai fait les plans de ce bâtiment et... Euh, avec l'argent gagné par l'unité, euh, nous, nous, nous le faisons. Quoi. Et tu assumes la surveillance des travaux J'assume la surveillance des travaux. Alors l'originalité de cette construction se trouve dans la toiture. Ce sont des éléments en ferro-ciment qui sont préfabriqués au sol et qui sont tout simplement posés sur une armature qui est elle-même euh, en ferro-ciment. Et je trouve très intéressant de pouvoir s'expliquer, s'exprimer si librement à Ouvrouvi. Merci. Préma, pourquoi êtes-vous venu vous installer à la, dans la zone industrielle Il nous a semblé nécessaire de nous implanter ici parce que nous croyons en un démarrage rapide de la ville et c'est notre façon d'y participer. Et comment imaginez-vous dans le futur la zone industrielle d'Auroville ça doit être un endroit pour manifester la beauté, l'harmonie et la qualité et essayer à travers ça de véhiculer une image d'Auroville à l'extérieur. Et, et à l'intérieur d'Auroville, quel doit être le rôle de l'industrie Bon, ça doit être un principe pour voir aux besoins des Auroviliens et essayer d'établir une base économique dans cette ville qui doit être autonome. Merci. L'équipe des News Real est allée pour vous cette semaine au matrimonial. Quelles sont les dernières nouvelles, Francis Well, the news this week from the March Mandir is that a team of people went to visit with the ECC construction company in Madras. This company is the one who have built the Bharat Nevis. They had agreed to assist the March Mandir in studying a design for the outer skin. It may be possible that this company will be involved in the execution of this design. The Newsreel team also went to visit the inner chamber and we're going to show you what's going on there right now. Inside the chamber at the Matramandir, where the ceiling is being coated with plaster of Paris. These masons are from Pondicherry, but they work all over India. It's a specialized skill, and they're going to do the whole ceiling of the inner chamber here. And when they're finished, it will be painted white to match the color of the marble. Chris Gray is coming in from America in December to supervise the marble cutting and hanging process. 
In relation to the completion of the chamber, we're on the home stretch. By who knows when, but definitely next year, the inner chamber of the Matmandir should be completed. We're about to have an interview with Dr. Takor from London. He is a doctor of psychiatry, and here he is working in the bowels of the Matmandir underneath the uh, floor of the chamber. Tell us, doctor, what brought you to Oroville? It's a difficult question. <laughs> um, well, I had got what I wanted in one way, and yet I was not satisfied, so I had to sort of come to Oroville. Uh, what do you feel about the psychological makeup of Orovillians? <laughs> You're asking very bombastic <laughs> questions, Francis, and I hope there was a simple answer. Um, well, it's a very assorted mix that we have here, and uh, in some ways we have got all types, miss, all types of uh, psychological dilemmas, and at the same time challenges. Uh, would you have thought while you were studying to be a doctor that you would land up underneath the floor in India chipping with hammers and chisels? Well, I never thought anything of that. Uh, mother always has surprises, so... I hope I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm sure you are. And now for the weather. Our meteorological experts would like you to know that arid zones within the tropical belt who have their latitude close to the equator and are at sea level are often warm for the most part of the year. Et maintenant, dans notre série Les Aspects Peu Connus d'Auroville, voici Golden Tilapia. Actually, not the way we're doing it in Golden Tilapia. We'd rather do it with a net like this. We started in November '86 uh, digging the bore well. Then, over a year's period, we had to set up the whole thing basic office, electricity, etc. And the first pond we started uh, stocking the fish in May '87 and the first harvest four months later. It's a 100% agriculture wasteland which uh, we are experimenting on and we have converted it into proper agriculture land and uh, I believe that we have proven it. I see you have two ponds that are working now. How many do you have planned for this area? The total area we can cover with 10 ponds and at the stage of five ponds uh, we run profitable. The investment here is, seems to be quite large. How did you acquire it? Uh, basically it's our money, which has been channeled through Altex Trust. And so Altex Trust made it possible for Golden Tilapia to start this experiment. Mm -hmm. Per month we, uh, we are aiming at a 3 tons, which is the harvest value of one pond. That means per day 100 kilos is what we are selling. 100 kilos a day? Yeah. And you ship them alive to Pondicherry? Yes. And you have agents in Pondicherry who sell these for Yeah. Uh, in the beginning, now we have one agent in Pondi and one agent in Kutrod, which is a nearby village. And uh, from January onwards, we have another two agents. And are your fish available in Orville? Definitely. Anytime. So Orvillians should come here to get their fish then? Uh, right now, yes because we couldn't find a proper way of setting up uh, agency in Auroville itself. Uh, so for the time being, they can take the fish from the running agencies or take it here straight. And I understand that this fish has a particular type of anatomy and you have to know how to prepare it. 
Who is the best one in Oroville right now to teach Oroville how to prepare this golden tilapia? Well, I believe it's Matthias. He has the most, most of the experience in eating it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you, Clemens, this is a very ambitious project, and I was not, I'm very surprised at the size of it, and I wish you all the best, and may Oroville have a great protein sauce, huh? I hope. This week, all over India, We'll be celebrating Diwali. We've asked Manakshi to come and explain this holiday for us. This uh, coming Tuesday is one of the greatest festivals of India. We call it Deepavali in Tamil Nadu, Diwali in the north. And what is the meaning of this festival? Mm, Deepavali means row of lamps, arranging lamps to give light during the darkest month of the year. And how will you celebrate it? It uh, differs region to region. In Tamil Nadu, it is only one day festival. That is early morning getting up, having an oil bath, wearing all nice new dress, and then children go with patash uh, firecrackers, and eating all nice sweets, and exchanging gifts. But in the north, it is nearly four day festival. You know, the first day it is devoted to Lord Krishna, and then devoted to Mahalakshmi, who brings uh, prosperity to their family. They even worship gold coins, silver coins, and then even gambling in the name of the festival, where um, Goddess Parvati was playing the dikes. You know? And so it is like three, four days, and then the brothers will visit the sisters and get a tikka, a potu, and then the sisters in turn will get a lot of gifts. So in the north it is uh, quite Festivity, you know, it's the mood. Yeah, from Kashmir to Cape Comrade. Thank you. Thank you. Happy, Happy Diwali. Diwali. Bon Bon Monday morning, following the town planning meeting, Ms. Yan and myself went to investigate the chief architect's office where all the town planners sit around and come up with these great ideas. Aujourd'hui, nous allons aller visiter le bureau du chef architecte d'Oroville. We have been informed by the entry group that from 1987 to today, 62 people applied to be newcomers. 52 of the 62 remain. That's a 10% increase in our population. Also, we would like to say that no one who applied has been refused to become a newcomer. Also, oldie but goodies are returning. Sam, Anne, and Benoit have returned last week. <laughs> Et maintenant revenons à quelque chose de beaucoup plus réel et quotidien, lundi matin. Malgré des conditions extrêmement défavorables, M. Oja, notre administrateur, et son staff reprennent leur travail comme chaque jour. Ce 
que vous ne savez pas, c'est que cette équipe administrative cache de véritables artistes. Et aujourd'hui, nous avons invité Mr. Chateauvedi. Mr. Chateauvedi, I'm very happy to invite you in our studio Thank you. to show your painting. So, could you tell us the name of this one? This painting is entitled Shakuntala. As you might have read Kalidas, the famous Sanskrit poet, he composed this drama Shakuntala. Shakuntala in Karno Ashram was being looked after by the Rishi and there she is playing with the deer. It was here that Dushyant, the king, met Shakuntala and fell in love with Shakuntala at the first sight. So it is one part of that um, Karno Ashram where Shakuntala was. This painting has been done in the typical wash style of the Bengali school of art. I learnt uh, this style from the late Krishin Ranath Majumdar of Shanti Nikita. And this painting was done about two years back uh -huh. in the same style. It is being still followed by few, although modern art is quite different. But this is the wash style. Okay. We'll show the other one. And this one? This is a, a painting entitled The Waiting. The gopis of Bridge Mandal were waiting for the Lord to appear. The flute was being played and they forgot everything, how to fill their pitcher by the bank of river Jamuna. She was sitting from morning till it became the evening time almost. So this represents that mood of the waiting of the bridge gopis for the Lord. Okay, and the third one? This also painted about two and a half years back. This is entitled uh, Surrender. When you surrender to the Mother, you have complete dedication within and this is also described in uh, Bhagavad Gita. Ma mekam sharanam brija. You forget everything, come to me and I'll take care of you. Mm. So the cactus which is there is the worldly thorny situation which we face in our lives and then it is the total abandonment and surrender. And when has been done this one? About two and a half years back. This was also done in the same style, wash painting. In government service we don't get much time to devote to this sort of hobby, but we do try to snatch few moments to do it. And that is my old, old hobby. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Mr. Shatavid. Thank you. Very, happy very kind of you. Thank you. Mike, I come from Seattle, Washington. Hello, Oroville. Hello, where are you from? What's your name? Yeah, this is my name. Yeah, yeah, it's Estonia. I came from Estonia. My name is Andrew Stenison. In English, Andy. Good evening, Oroville. Hello. What's your name? and I'm from California and I'm here in Oroville to plant trees and have a good time. I'm from Madras, India and uh, I love this place. I keep coming back to Oroville, of course. Oh. Hello, Oroville. My name is Simone. I'm from America and I'm very happy to be here in Oroville. My name is Sergei Simak. I am from the Soviet Union. Hello. Hello, dear friends. My name is Sergei. I am from Russia, the Soviet Union. Action. So you got more people, doesn't it? Oh. I am Yann. I live in Adana. And hello, Oroville. Bonjour, Oroville. My name is Francis. I live in Certitude. And hello, Oroville. Well, and what happens at the shadow of the Baratnivas? 
Eh bien, nous sommes allés, Francis et moi, voir. Toute une équipe de Revilliens travaille sans cérémonie pour accueillir les jeunes participants au séminaire Peace Tree. 21 vendis, plus de 1000 plantes ont été transportées de chez Shakti jusqu'au Barat Nivas. Où François, Souki et toute une équipe vont en prendre soin. Dans les coulisses, on se relaxe après l'effort. En attendant de servir les participants, plus de 60 couverts à chaque repas. On December 21st, at 4 o'clock, there was an inauguration ceremony to kick off Teamwork 88. The Indian, United States and Soviet representatives. Thank you. What they are to accomplish in the next two weeks is no small task. We feel that what will be accomplished here will be a model a model for a new way for our cultures to interact together. And again, how perfect that it should be in India and at Oroville. And the model that these youngsters will hold up to the world will not just be a new model of relationship for themselves, it will not even be a new model just for the cultures that we represent. But I think it will be a new model of relationship and cooperation for our entire planet to use. Thank you for having us. Bien sûr, il n'y a rien de vraiment nouveau dans ce bas monde. Mais s'il n'y a pas de vraies nouvelles, il y a en tout cas des informations. Francis. Orville a eu un nombre de big days en 1988, mais le plus grand est encore à venir. December 24. From 1.30 onward, starting off with the Oroville Fair, the variety show, the fashion show, with the main event will be the play. <laughs> Don't miss these events, the social highlight of the year. Say about your baby. Sure. Hello. Oroville Today No. 2 vient de paraître. Si vous n'avez pas encore reçu dans vos communautés, réclamez-le au premier membre de l'éditorial team que vous rencontrez. On December 25th at 8 p.m., everyone is invited to join under the banyan tree, there for hot chocolate and sweets. There will be a special prize for every child. The banyan tree will be lit with beautiful lights for all of us to enjoy. The annual Oroville Christmas Fair was covered by your newsreel team. Here are a few scenes of a great day of fun and games. This is what happened.